Hello, welcome to the Learning Zone. This video is to give instructions on how to properly use the SCX 5935FN multifunctional printer. What we're going to demonstrate is how to use the document feeder with the bypass tray. This machine accommodates letter sized paper, this is the tray, and that's all that this tray will hold. And it has a multi purpose tray that opens up like so. This tray is not a smart tray, there are no sensors. Uh, you have a guide to change, like for, for making envelopes or smaller size paper. Um, and the feeder also is not a smart feeder. There are no sensors. Over on another model, this is the color machine that's a little bit more sophisticated than the 5935. It does have a sensor. So when you put a large, like a uh, 8 and a half by 14 document in this one, the, machi the machine will know that it has the larger original. However, the 5935 does not. There are no sensors. So you have to physically tell the machine what size paper you're going to feed and what size your original is. In this demonstration, we're going to put legal size paper into the bypass tray. You, you set the guides so they're nice and tight so the paper doesn't skew. If these are out, the paper might turn a little bit and it could cause a, a crooked copy. And then we're going to take a, a, four, a eight and a half by 14 original, which is this one, and we're going to set that up in the feeder, face up. Okay. First thing the machine is going to ask you for is to tell it what size paper you have in drawer number one, which is the bypass. You can change the paper size. Right now it's paper size letter, which is the default. We're going to change the paper size by pressing this button and choose legal on the list. Okay, once that's done, you press OK, and then press OK again, which goes back to the normal screen. We're now going to press copy. Now we have to tell the machine that we have a legal document in the, pa in the document feeder because it also is not going to uh, work properly. It's going to want to choose the, the letter tray because right now it's set for letter. So we're going to change that to legal by pressing this button. Now it says legal. Okay. You can now press the save box. If this is a job you do quite frequently, you can press the save box name it. Uh, we can change the name. You can also turn the a box on and off um, and give this job a name. And then it, you can uh, later you can have a shortcut to, to have this done so you don't have to go through this full process. We're going to go ahead and cancel this though and just do this as a one-time job. Okay, we can use it stay in auto because We've told the machine that we're feeding from the bypass with the date and a half by 14 legal paper and our original is also set at legal. So now we'll press the print button. It now will feed the original and choose from the bypass tray. Okay, so that's how you properly use the bypass tray on the 5935. All right. Now, let's say, for instance, we want to do the same thing. We want to feed from the bypass on 8.5 by 14, but we're going to use a 8.5 by, by 11 sheet of paper as the, the original. So we would set that up here. We would then let the machine know the original is letter. And instead of going auto, because the machine's going to want to draw from tray number, uh, tray number one, we're going to use the bypass button there. See how the bypass is lit up? And then that's going to bypass the auto selection. And this way you can do an 8.5 by 11 document onto legal size paper. So there we now have legal document 
with a letter size original on it. Okay, I hope this helps you um, understand how the machine operates with choosing the original size along with choosing the size paper. If it's a special type of paper, um, it is a universal bypass, so it'll accommodate several different, um, several different options. Uh, so I hope that helps you in this, in this uh, video.